Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Scions of Vega or Lions of Vegas in another dimension. Now this is another classic Tonguk Boder developed game published by East Asia Soft and is available for around the Fiverr mark. Now I say it's around that because there is no price released just yet, as of the time of this recording, but it's probably around that. That's my chunky gut feeling anyway, as it were. So we play as Silency No Name and his brother Logan, as Silence's daughter Layla has gone missing. So we are on the track to go and get her, obviously. Uh, this is another very chill walking simulator with some light puzzle elements, but all in all, is an easy but enjoyable ride. Now, all achievements are story related, so no worries about any missables or anything like that, and everything is pretty much straightforward. Logan does talk a lot in this though, so, you know, that's always fun. <laughs> all in all, you're looking at around 25 minutes with this guy to get this done, so with that being said then, well, let's do it. Now, of course, um, as always, you can change the settings, do what you want. In terms of button mashing, um, everything again is very easy. Uh, the button's left trigger to crouch, the right trigger, you only need to click the right trigger once to sprint and he'll remain sprinting for the rest of the game until you actually have to press it again. Um, the A button to jump, which we will only use once throughout the entirety of the game, otherwise you can't do it. And the X button to interact with items. So we are going to start there. More crows in another Tonguk Boder game. He does love a good crow, to be fair. Um, there's our brother Logan. Hello. You, you have dirt on your face. So... Right trigger to sprint. Like I said, a lot of talking he's going to be doing in this game, so just <laughs> be aware of that. But for now, this is a nice, easy, straight path. So, um, yeah, go ahead, follow the path. We're just going to go to the right of these trees here rather than go around the long way, of course. We're going to try and take as many shortcuts as we can. And we're just going to head straight now for the river and go straight past the tree. Try not to drown, even though you can't drown at all. But you will slow down considerably because apparently we can't move fast through water, which is kind of realistic. Nothing like SpongeBob SquarePants, anyway. It's been raining heavy for a couple of days, so there's some flood here and there. So what this game does want you to do is talk to people and go searching for stuff. But of course, we're not going to talk to anyone else because screw those guys. So as we come up to our first house here, what we're going to do is actually go inside of the house. You don't have to interact with anything. You can just barge straight through the door, which is nice. Um, on the right hand side here is a ladder that we are going to climb up. Again, that's all automatic. Um, but what you need to do is go far enough until it says there. It's too dark in here. Oh, my God. So we need to actually drop down and old Logan, hey. oh, I'm not going to say Logan Paul, that is a disgusting name, uh, will actually give us the lighter. But again, he won't give us the lighter until, oops, there we go. So press the X button to grab that. But he won't give us the lighter until we've got actually gone up to the attic, which is annoying. Why didn't he just give us the lighter in the first place? So climbing back up then, you can see a bunch of candles here on the floor. So we're just going to light them up one at a time. Bam, 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 bam. Tell you what, like, like pretty much all of us pop in a Pringles can, that is, isn't it? As soon as the Pringles are open, you just smash them down, yeah. So interact here with the safe, and now you need to press uh, left on the D-pad until it hits 45. So we're basically going counterclockwise here. So if you go to the right, um, if you click right in the D-pad and go clockwise, it doesn't work. You've got to go counterclockwise. It'll hit 45, and the next achievement here will unlock, called the safe. You can read the letters if you want for the story stuff, but we're just going to grab the key. And um, I mean, the story is quite interesting, in all fairness. It's, uh, you know, gives a glimpse into wherever the hell Layla's gone. God damn you running away. I made lasagna tonight. Anyway, head left around the house and just left through these next set of houses anyway. And there is the first gate. Or is it the second gate? I've already lost my mind, which is about right for one of my guides. But anyway, we're through the gate anyway. And now we can just continue on. Let's move on to the next one. It's not too far away from here. We'll just go across the park area. And after that, 
Watch out for the wild animals. A couple months ago, something bit my neck. They're just too damn quick. I couldn't even realize what kind of animal it was, and the grass is teeming with them this season. Now this look, this next bit does look like it could be a puzzle, but literally you're just going through the only open gates and the only open fences, so, uh, yep. Yeah. Easy. When Lila was born, you were 20 and I was 16. I, I remember how happy Susie was to become a mother back then. You never catch the squirrel. Try to catch the squirrel if you can. You can't catch him. Anyway. Um, yep, yeah, just, just crack on as we're doing then. You can't catch anything, apparently we're too slow. Which makes sense. Come all the way from halfway across the country. When I saw you with her after that long, never-ending year, I knew that you'd found the right one for you. Man, Logan has already annoyed us with his quips. Anyway, ignore the house and just continue on underneath this rock. And we're basically going to take a little bit of a, sh well, a slight shortcut. So we're just going to head through the trees, uh, taking a left. So basically still climbing, still going on the same path, but still climbing. So as we head to the left, we can see what looks like an, uh, what's it called? An unexplored abandoned cave or something. So... Again, left trigger to duck underneath, and then we can just crack on. Again, some light puzzle elements are going to be uh, popping up now. So just follow the only path for now and interact with the gas lever. And, of course, the gas in your ass decides to take a chill, which gets us through. Right, with this bit, there is a bit of gas here, so just be careful. So we just need to interact with the second. There's three levers. We need to interact with the second one and the third one, and that will turn off the old gracias. So interact with number two, number three, and old gassy gracias will uh, go away. So jump up on here, crouch down. And when we will be able to see, we can see on the desk there is the key. Again, have a look at the note if you want to. It probably just says like, hey, dad, screw you, man. The end. Very, uh, very poetic. <laughs> yes, very poetic. So we can just go ahead and make our way back now. You got no gassy grassy trying to kill you, so we're all good. And when we get outside, we're going to make a right. So just head to the right. Probably looks like you can't go this way, but you actually can. So just head over the rocky rocks and open up the gate. And away we go again. Heard a lot of rumors while you're away from us, Kenny. Is it true that you were inside for three months? You were troublesome when you were younger, but if what they say about you is not bullshit, you're really lucky to have met Susie. So when we get to the water, we're just going to take a left, and we're just going to continue on up the stairs. So you got this. Walking upstairs, though, is... Oh, it's... As soon as you hit your 30s, peak walking up the stairs days are over. The only problem is that she ruined your birthday today. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't want to be messing with a deer. Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, no. Right, so keep sticking to the right-hand side wall, as it were, and just go right around this house, and you can see a shovel there. There's a shovel, and what we're going to do is dig up the dirt pile. Now, this looks very um, suspicious and very interesting. Luckily, for some reason, somebody's put a load of mud on a fuse. So, um, I mean, we could have kept digging, but, well, let's not bother with that. We got the fuse, so what we could do is head... Not to this house, but to the next one. So, pass all the flowers here. See the little kid. He's like, hey, want to speak? And I'm like, ah, hell nah. 
By the way, Logan is pretty useless here. Uh, so we can head now to the, uh, well, basically the left. And this is where the next fuse is. That will get us the next achievement as well. Eventually it'll pop. There it is. And now we can actually head up the stairs. The fuse, very aptly named right there. Uh, head all the way over to the opposite end of the room. Click the lamp on. Pick up the key. And now we can skedaddle out of here. But uh, yes, Logan is completely useless. What's the point of him on this expedition? Because all he's saying is, hey, I'm here for you. But uh, you just crack on while I wait out here. Just in case there's any, you know, death and stuff inside. Nice. So from here then, head to the right. And we are going to see the next gate that we're going to trample our way through. What a flood. It even caused avalanches. Now the tree trunks are blocking our way. We should pass through that gate over there. I wish the town folk weren't such cowards, not lock them. Sometimes I feel like I'm digging into the past too much. What do you think? You know what they say, life is one day and it's today. When I carpe diem, it makes me feel... So, of course, it is a linear path, but we're going to take a little shortcut. So head directly left and sort of just keep, you know, keep sticking here with the uh, water on your left-hand side. While Logan talks and talks and talks and talks. Now, if this was Logan from X-Men Wolverine, this would have been, uh, well, way more entertaining. Uh, so again, continue to the left rather than go into the right or the straight right there. So head to the left, head around. You can see old squirrel nuts just uh, looking for some nuts, looking for his own nuts. Well, aren't we all? And then continue on. And then we're going to be coming up to another sort of house, but it's actually a cave. So what we're going to do, head left onto the house right here, pick up the random hatchet again. Incredibly convenient place items when there's no people about, which comes in handy for us. Turning around, you can see the cave here, so interact with the, the leaves and the bushes. Now, this part basically reminds me, when we, we're going to head to the right here first. So you can see the torch there at the end. We will slow down, of course, once again, because that's what you normally do in caves. You slow down. You wouldn't run for your life and run like crap. No, you'd slow down just so things can kill you. Anyway, this part does remind me of um, the fantastic A Plague Tales. A Plague Tale games. As with, with the torch, except it's scorpions instead of rats. So we're just going to head to the right and then basically just head all the way down. So you can see all the scorpions are going to be coming up. Uh, just shine your light at them though and uh, that should be job done. There we go. Uh, but yeah, rem definitely reminds me of A Plague Tale without the plague, without the tail... I'm pretty much without the A as well. But but apart from that, everything does. So just keep heading to the end to find the key and then just turn around and head back out to Freedom Land with Logan. So once we smell the fresh air, we can head to the left. All uh, Logan's chunky head will appear. There it is. Jesus, man, where have you been? Where have you been, you useless douchebaggery? Right, so continue on, of course, as always. No stopping now. We should check out the chapel. Maybe the priest is there to explain to us what's going on.
There's a bridge ahead. You know, the chapel is not too far away after we cross it. We should push just a little more. Maybe we can reveal some secrets there. Maybe the priest will explain it all to us. I know you're not much on the religious side, and I understand that, but their god is not exactly what I have in my heart either, but anyhow... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. God, it's a lot of talking. Anyway, head to the right here to go over the rocky bridge, which apparently we couldn't get over. But we are determined to find our daughter. You think I should be one of those cinema guys? On one man's quest to find his daughter, Logan talks crap behind him. Silence of Vega. Yeah, I think I'd be a good uh, cinema narrator person. Anyway, continue on through the ominous looking trees. Again, we don't have to speak to the priest. He's probably doing things that a priest shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Uh, I'm just joking. All priests are, um, you know, innocent and stuff. So head around the back. <laughs> Maybe that's what the priest is doing right now. Uh, go inside and head up. This is going to be another little bit of a puzzle here. So we need to interact with this crypt or this stone mummy statue. That'll get us another achievement. But we can head down, head down, and continue to head down. Now we're going to do some jumping puzzles. Well, again, slight jumping puzzle. Uh, so let's just crouch under here. Basically, the, but if you do end up falling, there's a ladder which you can just climb back up and try again. So no worries if you do fail or whatever, but it should should be easy enough. So once we have the combination here, the combination is two, one, three, six. Okay, so that's two, one. Click down on the D-pad to go down, by the way. So it is two, one, three, and six. Ta-da, automatic open. Again, with no hands, that's how incredible we are. We can just use it with our minds. Uh, interact with the key. And that is that for this section. So, the jumping puzzle that I was just talking about is actually the next one. So, apologies if you were expecting that puzzle. I got that one wrong. Sorry. Uh, let's just head back out into the fresh air and freedom. Hmm? Well, shit happens. We shouldn't give up at this point. Let's keep on moving. I'm right behind you. These children, I envy them. No, I'm not being funny. If that deal was any good, it would have stopped and we could have had a lift with him. That would have made this game even quicker. It could have turned a 25-minute completion into a, you know, two-minute completion, which, uh, well, let's not get into that right now. <laughs> Seeing them as strong as they are. Watch out for the bushes. They are tall and have thorns. This path up until the four houses is somewhat narrow. A couple weeks ago, I hurt myself on the neck. Going all the way up is a little tiring, but when you reach the top, the scenery is totally worth it. Especially when the sun sets and the bright starts begin to appear. So when we get up here, we're just going to continue straight. I do go to the right. That's because I thought I was in the wrong bit. So you just need to go past this next house. And then we can turn to the right. Again, there is another kid here that we can speak to if we wish, but anybody got time for that? So we're just going to go around the house. There's old Squirrel Nuts there. Hello, hello, Squirrel. And head for the ab seemingly abandoned building right here. Now, this is actually where the jumping puzzle is. So uh, again, apologies about the last time. So again, just make sure you've got the run on and then run. Press the A button to jump over. Same with the next bit. Jump over. And then if we turn to the right, you should see a couple more st uh, sort of stone uh, stones to jump on. So jump on that, jump on the next one, jump up to the left here. And we have a little puzzle to do, another couple of levers. So what we're going to do is actually interact here with the first one, the second one, and then hit the lever on the very right-hand side. 
So the first two levers left in the middle, ignoring the right long lever and interact with the short lever there on the right. That should open up the metal door on the left. Turn around, uh, turn to the right, sorry. Interact with the key. And now we can get the hell on out of here, boy. We've only got a couple of minutes left now until the coveted, incredible uh, ending. Very twisty ending. So this time we can just jump down. We don't have to do the puzzle this time. Again, like I said, if you did end up failing, there is the ladder right here that you can just retry many, many a time. Right, so heading back out. Again, Logan is pretty useless. He's come with us, but he hasn't actually done anything. He's just spoken and he's just left us to, you know, perish if something was to be in one of these houses. Head to the right and sort of start heading down. Again, ignoring all these houses. There's nothing in there of any value, which is cute, just cute. So from here, just head to the right now once we get to the bottom. And then continue the climb. The Mount Everest climb. It's funny the way they think they know a lot about me. I know more about them. This miserable guy wasted his long ass life drinking. He never paid attention to his daughter's graces. No offense, but if he were still here and his daughter had vanished, it would take him weeks, if not months, to realize. Anyway, the house at the hill, that's our last stop. If we don't find any answers there, I, I don't know what to say. I hope that I'm wrong. If we find Lila alive in there. I just know that she means a lot to me. Just like she means a lot to you too. So one last time, let's hope for no bad surprises. So it's been a long 20 minute walk, but we have made it well long enough for me anyway. So what we need to do then, uh, continue straight, head up the steps. And then what you're going to see at the very end is a white door with a key card meter. But again, we have to get to this point where he says, I need the key card. And that'll just be in Logan's little backpack. So we're going to do some stealing. Let's do some stealing, man. And then shock horror twist coming up. Eh, yeah. So again, you can't actually grab this key card until you've gone upstairs and you've seen the uh, dialogue saying, I need the key card. Get me the damn key card. So head back up the steps. Interact with the key card, of course. Oh, are we going to find a... Are we going to find a... E no. Well, that's underwhelming. But anyway, interact with the note. And oh, what is this now? What is going on? And this is where the shock, horror, and twist appears. We are going to almost fight some shadow people. Watch now. Watch. Who the hell are you guys? So I don't know if he's killed them or if he's... I don't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is choose one choice, any choice. It does not matter. Um, and that is, again, to either sacrifice yourself to kill Logan or to... Um, Basically, join the science of Vega. Doesn't matter what you pick, but it will be the end. You're old and tired, and you should no longer taste that joy. That's harsh, mate. Come on, people over forty should be able to <laughs> should be able to enjoy life too. Yeah, you son of a. Sacrifice your soul to Vega, or join the science of Vega by first praying to him. Take your time making your decision. So again, pick whatever option you wish. I just cho uh, choose to become a sacrifice because, well, it's always fun to get stabbed in video games. Probably not as much in real life, I couldn't imagine, but there we go. Um, again, it doesn't matter which option you pick because you will get the last achievement here. And that should be 11 out of 11 achievements done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. If you enjoyed the game with the guide, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to all my Patreon supporters. You guys and guys are legends of the highest order. I want to kiss you all. If, uh, you know, with consent, of course. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Big love.